Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for tutormash.com. In this video, we will see how to create a circular beam using radial method. So we already discussed this. To create a model, we got three methods, snap node, coordinate and structural wizard. And under snap node, we already discussed linear grid in our previous video. Now we will see how to create a circular beam using radial grid method. Right. So these are some examples for circular beams. To create a circular beam, you need to first create a reference grid. You can see these dotted lines are called as reference grid. Let's see the properties of the circular grid. This circular grid is created in XZ plane. So the plane is XZ and radius 1 means from the origin to here it is 2 meter and from origin to here is 5 meters. So that is radius 1 and radius 2 and between radius 1 and radius 2 there is 3 base 1, 2 and 3. And the sweep angle is 360. From the origin, it is 360 degree sweep. And number of base along 360 degrees is 18. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 18 base are there. So when you create a grid, you have to enter these properties. Let's see how to do this instead. Just watch. So we can start with a new project. Click on space. File name is circular beam. Length units is meter and kilonewton. Press next. Add beam and finish. And it opens to snap node beam method. If this window is not displaying in your PC, you can activate it from geometry. Go to snap grid node and press beam. And next is to create a grid. Click on create, change from linear to radial, name it radial reference grid and the plane, the plane should be XZ. You can look at here, the grid we created here is in XZ. You can change the plane to XZ. And if you want to rotate this circular grid keeping Y as fixed, you can enter the angle so it will rotate keeping y as fixed or x as fixed or z as fixed you can rotate your grid so currently i'm not rotating so keep the value as zero and you need to set the grid origin you can see this is the grid origin and the coordinates are zero 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 enter the value here you can automatically select the origin using this icon next is construction lines start angle is zero this is start angle and sweep is 360 you can see sweeps 360 and number of base it's already calculated as 18 1 2 3 4 18 you can set 18 and radius 1 you have to set now you can understand what is radius 1 it's 2 meter and a 2 meter and radius 2 is 5 meter right and between radius 1 and 2 there is 3 base 1 2 3 so you can enter 3 so this is how we create reference radial grid press ok and activate it now you got the grid you can change the view from here you can see now the grid is in XZ now we can start drawing the beams. We can start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and continue. So we have done. Now we will create a circular beam inside. Click on snap node beam and start drawing it. Now we have done with creating circular beam. To remove your reference grid, you can close this window and you can change the view to isometric. So this is your circular beam. So that's the end of the session and we hope you understood well. Keep posting your queries and feedbacks and for more videos, please log in to www.tutormash.com. Thank you.